this presentation I've created a table in Google Sheets service with several columns. The first step is to run Visual Studio under Administrator account and create Integration Services project. Click OK. The next step is to create connection to Google Sheets service. Right click, new connection, scroll down and select REST Connection Manager. Click Add. From drop down menu, select Google Sheets. and we have to provide credentials to our Google account. Click New. Simple process. Click Next. And log in to your Google account. You can preview the access permissions and click oh, wow here is the generate token now we have to save it in our computer and create a password for it. Click OK. Let's test our connection. Successful. Click OK. And rename. The third step is to create data for task and connect source component with destination. Drag and drop REST source component, scroll down and drag and drop on canvas the OLEDB destination component. Drag the blue arrow to connect source with destination. And now we have to create connection to our database. New OLEDB connection. Click OK. Rename. Double click on source component. Select the Google Sheets connection we have already set up. Sheet values. And we have to provide parameters. The first one is path. You can find it in your Google Drive account. Okay, the second one is range. Just open your document and select the range you want to specify. And the third one is optional, but we can add it as well. It's first row column names.
you can preview the column names and values. Click OK. Now double click on source component and rename it. Double click on destination component and select table. Check the column names. Here we have to map source column names with destination column names. OK, and let's run the package. Package execution is successful. Let's check our SQL Server table. All data from Google Table is successfully imported to SQL Server Table. Thank you for watching.